and welcome to another segment of Benchwarmers, talking again about the Boy Francis Jr. Sabres, who I mean, from worst to first almost, they're 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 climbing, they're they're doing well in the league. Uh, Mitch, tell, talk about this homestand they just had this past weekend. Well, three games and three nights, and uh, they came out with three victories, six big points, and uh, four of which came uh, against the Thunder Bay Bearcats, which sent a. Uh, a big message to that team because they're at the top of the league and they had owned the uh, Sabres going into the two games. 3-0 uh, and against them before that, but uh, Friday's victory, a sound 4-0 uh, win for the Sabres. And they carried the place from start to finish and got a couple power play goals in the middle period and uh, coasted to victory. And uh, on Saturday, uh, they were kind of starting behind the eight ball to begin the game. Uh, Chris Kitt scored for the Bearcats and they led right until midway through the third and Dan Oziski fired one home, and uh, then he got the shootout winner. As and Baumgartner also got one on the shootout when he went to his back end. So big stuff for the Sabers, and of course Thursday's game we can't forget about that. They beat Shriver once again for the third time this season. I believe it was 5-1, and yeah, pretty tough to complain about homestand where you get three wins in three nights. With Carson Dubcheck on and Dan Smith hurt, you know who's really stepped it up to make that top line go and make everyone keep scoring. Well, Gabe Capozzi is slotted in there on the top line with Chris Sinclair and Brendan Baumgartner, and he was a player that was fairly high, highly touted in uh, training camp, but hadn't really panned out to date, but he's fit in like a glove on that line, and uh, he's got goal and six assists in four games, and uh, he's been around the net, and he's setting up plays too, he's not just milking the uh, the other two, it's been a, a joint effort for sure. And now... There's some stuff going around. A potential uh, hometown hockey player may be on the trading block. Uh, you want to touch a little bit on that and what the Sabres might be planning to do about that? Well, yes, Tyler Miller uh, in the OPJHL which the, with the uh, Porto Predators. Uh, he's on the block. I think he's looking to go to a team that's a contender in his last year here of uh, junior eligibility. I guess he wants to... Uh, wants well, a championship ring and uh, represent some team in the Dudley Hewitt Cup and uh, I guess Fort Francis would be the ideal location it's just a matter if they can get a deal done I know there's talk between uh, GM Tim Clayton with the Predators and of course Wayne Strand here in Fort Francis and uh, it's just a matter of getting all the details together that he can uh, play in his hometown here to end it or he may uh, get an offer somewhere else and end up somewhere else and that that may happen but uh, I guess we'll wait and see how it all plays out